Hello, this month is April and we're celebrating National Poetry Month. How do I define poetry? Well, it's simply your thoughts written down on paper. That's what it is. And when it comes to writing poetry, your poetry doesn't have to rhyme. When I write poetry, it doesn't necessarily rhyme. The East Cleveland Public Library has a variety of poetry which extends from heritage to um, ancestors to um, racism, family, hair, whatever you can imagine a poem could be written about. We have books on those topics. Now, I am an adult reference associate and I do lots of research. Let me tell you what I found out. There are many words in the English language that don't rhyme with any other words. Let me name a few for you. Orange, silver, purple, muff, knife, pint, wolf, Opus, dangerous, marathon, and discombobulate, just to name a few. Now, let's do a little poetry. If I could turn back the hands of time, you fill in the blank. If I could turn back the hands of time. I want you to finish this poem. This is how I finished it. If I could turn back the hands of time and toss a dime, you would have been mine a long time ago. See, I used rhyming words and then I went away from rhyming words. Let's try that again. Roses are red. Violets are blue. You fill in the blanks. This is how I finish the poem. Say you love me and I'll say I love you. Poem can be fun for the family. And it's a good way to introduce literacy to the children. One more. Balloons go up and rain comes down. Can you finish that poem for me? This is how I chose to finish it. Balloons go up and rain comes down. Next year, I'll be wearing a wedding gown. So, please remember to support your community library. Thank you for joining us and be safe out there.